Welcome to Shannonville Motorsport Park near Belleville, Ontario, and the Suzuki Superbike Showdown, presented by Castrol Canada. Good afternoon, everybody. I'm Pat Gonzalez, and this is our final race of our six-race series that has taken the best motorcycle road racers in this country from Nova Scotia to Vancouver in search of the number one plate. With me, as always, Craig Hill. And, Craig, this has been a very eventful 1989 season. Oh, it sure has, Pat. It's been up and down for a lot of people. But, you know, today's the final race of the series, and they're really racing for the jackpot today. You know, there's about $850,000 in prize and contingency money out there, starting with the Castro Motor Plan, $100,000 prize money at the end of this season. So all the riders are working for it. And this year's seen a lot of factory entries, shall we say. Factory-supported bikes from Suzuki and from Honda, from Kawasaki, and from all the manufacturers. And it's just made the big difference out there. The riders have had something to really gun for. If you've been a regular viewer of our series, you'll know that we've concentrated on the Pro 600 production and Superbike races. Here today at Shannonville, the Pro 600 production championship will be decided. Coming into the event, Steve Crevier, number 107, and number two, Tommy Douglas, are both tied for the points lead, each with 63. So that should be a monumental battle in the 600 production class, Craig. Oh, you bet, Pat. You know, those guys are really going to be going for the big gun today. But you know, Steve Crevier's rode well all year, and he has a chance to win three separate championships this year. We say three championships because at our last race at Coquitlam, British Columbia at Westwood Motorsport Park, Steve Crevier won the pole position and was in a position to take the Superbike Championship. Both Reuben McMurder and Gary Goodfellow had a mathematical chance of catching Steve Crevier with strong performances. But it was not to be as McMurder fell on the rain-soaked Westwood track, handing Steve Crevier a fifth-place finish and the 1989 Canadian National Superbike Championship. It was an outstanding achievement for the Coquitlam native, and I had a chance to talk to Steve about his Superbike title. Well, Pat, the, the fun has definitely gone back into it, you know, when, when you've tied up uh, the number one plate, uh, you know, you're just in such a good mood. And I've always right, ridden, I've ridden all year unpressured, you know, the pressure, you can't plan on winning anything, Pat, and uh, that's my attitude, that's been my attitude all along. I've given the best shot I can for every race I've entered. I might not have won them all, but uh, definitely that's what I plan on doing today. Um, everybody's hot. and. And they want to beat me as well, but everybody wants the best of points. So I'm, I'm a spoiler for Michelle, Gary, and Ruben, and uh, Stephen Dix. So, you know, like where I finish is going to, well, I'm just going to get in the way, actually. But the, uh, I'm just going to give it my best shot on my Champini Q107 Pacific Yamaha FZR 750. Our congratulations to Steve Crevier and the whole Champini team, including tuner Rick Hobbs and Steve Wyatt. And we'll be right back with the Pro 600 race right after these messages. Nineville Motorsport Park and the Suzuki Superbike Showdown and our first race is for the Pro 600 Production Championship. Well, Craig, it's been quite a battle all year long between Steve Crevier, number 107, and number two, Tommy Douglas. They're tied in the point standings. However, we've been told that Pascal Picot, who won the pole position yesterday, has been penalized for missing the riders' meeting. He'll start back in row five. So this is the way the front row looks. Crevier, Gannett, Douglas, and Grummet will make up that front row all in Yamahas. Ramsey, McMillan, and Gingra in the second row. Two riders in row three, Kenny Cooper and Stefan Gertan. Then there's Picot back in row four, Denny Royer and Yves Brissot. And the lone rider in the fifth row is Robbie Meikljohn. And just look at that crowd, Pat. It's another sellout event at Shannonville as we get ready to crown the 1989 Pro 600 production champion. Riders revving up those machines. The green light is on. The field charges to turn one. Wheelies off some of those machines. And number two, Tommy Douglas, will grab the lead. Look at this battle for second as they come out of turn number one. Gannett 999, the first year pro rookie, right in there. And he'll take over second as they go through turn number two. 107, Premier runs back in third. Then it is number 10, Dave Grummet, going side by side with 21, Picot. And Picot will come through in a fourth. So we have two first year rookie riders mixing it up with the two riders who came in here to Shannonville with a real shot at the championship. But for the moment, it is number two, Tommy Douglas, who leads. 999, Jacques Gannett on that lime green Yamaha in second. Then 107, Crevier, followed by number 21, Pascal Picot. Grummet number 10 runs back in fifth. 
Tommy Douglas, who had that disastrous fifth round at Westwood Motorsport Park, when he crashed his machine and threw on the inside, Gannett takes the lead. Douglas right back up to the outside. He will retake top spot. So already we've got the swapping back and forth as the riders go through the S's here on the opening lap. Into the hairpin, Douglas, number two year leader as he takes that Dicom Express Yamaha on the back straightaway. And Pat Picotts up from the fourth row and has passed Crevier for third. The penalty hasn't slowed him. Both he and Gannett are first-year rookies on the pro circuit, and boy, are they showing some aggressive riding out there today. Crevier 107 was alongside of 21. Picot off the end of the back straightaway, but Picot managed to hold out of that number three spot, and here's Picot. He looks up the inside of Gannett, and Picot will take over second. A beautiful outbreaking moment. Here comes Gannett up to the outside. They'll run handlebar to handlebar on the front straight away, and Picot will manage to hold out of that second place position. But Craig, what a battle between these two rookies, and look at Crevy at 107. He seems to be sitting back there, enjoying the action up front. Number two, Douglas, your leader, then Picot 21 in second, 999, Gannett aboard that lime green machine in third, and then Crevy at number 107. Those four riders now have opened up a pretty good gap in the rest of the field. Well, Pat, if you'll notice, these are first-year riders, as I said before, but these guys have steadily improved all season long and now they're leading races and this is what this series is all about making people understand how to ride motorcycles extremely well and competitively the leader Tommy Douglas number two being hotly pursued by those two rookies and it really has been a learning year for both Pascal Picot number 21 and 999 Jacques Gannett they've had some ups and downs this season but I've never seen these two riders run as well this year as they are right now and they're right with Douglas as they go through the S's here's Tommy Douglas being really pushed up to the outside Gannett pulls alongside of Picot 21 as they go into the hairpin here comes Crevier he'll take a completely different line as they go on the back straight away it's still Douglas leading Picot and Gannett going side by side for second and here is 107 Steve Crevier back there in the fourth place position that four rider freight train comes up across the line 85 there you can see a little bit further back Denny Roy he runs fifth and then number 10 David Grummet is back in sixth but right now it is a four rider race well Pat you know I'm not really too sure what Steve Crevier's game plan is here because if he lets Tommy get too much of a lead, he's going to blow away all his chances at this Pro 600 Production Championship. Greg, remember, all of these riders are on the Yamaha Epsidar 600s and has been the dominant machine. The only victory this year for a rider not on a Yamaha came, of course, at Westwood when Daryl Fletcher won on the Honda. But here we've got a Yamaha battle up front. He cut 21, goes wide. Gannett down to the inside will pull right up into that second place position. And now it is Gannett through in a second. Here comes Picot battling right back. He moves through on the inside, but no, Gannett shuts the door. And Crevier with the best seat in the house to watch that action as the riders just swap positions back and forth. Here's Gannett to the inside of Douglas. He will take the lead going into the S's. Douglas right back. He will retake the top spot, and here comes Gannett. He goes back into the lead. Douglas back around. Here comes Gannett. He will go back. Whoa, five lead changes as they went through the S's. And again, Gannett down to the inside. He will go back out in front. Gannett, your leader, Douglas, followed by Picard and Crevier. Oh, the way Douglas's Yamaha slid around there coming out of the hairpin. You know, Pat, I wouldn't be surprised if his tires have lost the edge. He was being pushed pretty hard by both Gannett and Picard. Connect your leader, Picot in second, Douglas, and then Crevier. But look at this. Crevier has gone through into third, and if he holds out of that position, he will clinch the Pro 600 Production Championship. Crevier 107, followed by Douglas. Earlier today, Crevier wrapped up the Pro 250 Championship here at Shannonville, and of course, at Westwood during round number five, he won the Superbike title. Well, his game plan, obviously, Pat's just to say ahead of Tommy Douglas, and that's Paul McMillan, a past Superbike champion, up in ninth place on his Honda. McMillan having a pretty good run here, but he just doesn't have the horsepower to stay with the horde of Yamahas that run up in the top positions. And you're looking at the leader, 999 Jacques Gannett. You can see just how far over Gannett leans that machine as he comes through this left-hander and Picot goes through on the inside into the lead. Gannett got a little bit wide. Picot just was right there, pounces on the opportunity and moves out in front. So it is Picot 21 who now leads 999 Gannett in second, 107 Premier runs third and number two. Tommy Douglas is back in fourth place. He caught 21 by just a bike length over Gannett. These two riders a year ago 
battle in the amateur classes and have really come a long way in their first year of professional road racing. There you can see the third and fourth place riders going through. Crevier followed by number two, Tommy Douglas. And what a battle it has been between these two rookies. But earlier, I had a chance to ask Steve Crevier if Pascal Picot would be a factor in the race for the championship. The way that's going to go is uh, I'm, I'm going to try not to pay attention to Pascal. And Pascal's very young and he's very eager to beat me. Uh, there's a tag on my head now, I believe. It's uh, a number one tag, and uh, anybody that beats me, I guess, uh, accomplishes something. So it's going to be a big thing for him to beat me, and he's going to try as, as hard as I'm sure, Pat. So I think I'm just going to let him go with it and worry about where Tommy is and try to go for the points. And, Pat, guess what? Crevier is doing just that. He's playing it smart, not trying to dice with these two young riders for the lead, but at the same time keeping ahead of Tom Douglas. Tom's in fourth, and here we are on the last lap. Crevier checking over his left shoulder. The two riders ahead of him, Picot and Gannett, are of no concern. He's about a half a lap away from what has been a Cinderella year for Steve Crevier. There again, the little check over the left shoulder, wanting to keep an eye on Douglas, who is several bike lengths back. But Crevier, a couple of corners away from wrapping up his third Canadian championship in what has been a remarkable season for the Port Coquitlam British Columbia rider. The checkered flag is out. Picot has won it. Gannett in second. There is Crevier. He he will finish third and wrap up the Pro 600 Production Championship. And an outstanding season for young Crevier. With Tom Douglas, I'm sure a little bit disappointed in not being able to win it. And there are the final standings with Picot coming from row four to win his first Pro 600 race. Followed by Gannett, Crevier, who has 73 championship points, just two ahead of Tom Douglas in fourth. Then it's Royer, Grummet, John Ramsey, Brisson, McMillan, and Gingras in tenth. And on the podium is the very happy winner, Pascal Picard. Our second place finisher here this afternoon, another first year rookie, Jacques Gannett. Yeah. And now our third place finisher and your 1989 Pro 600 production champion, Steve Crevier. What a day for the Port Coquitlam BC rider. He's won two championships today, and we'll be back with our feature superbike race in just a moment. Welcome back to Shannonville Motorsport Park. The capacity crowd is ready for this final superbike race of the year. The story here at Shannonville has been Steve Crevier, who has wrapped up three Canadian road racing championships. The question is, can Crevier, starting from the pole position, win yet another superbike event this year? Here's Greg Hill with the starting grid. And as Pat Gonzalez said, Steve Crevier on his Yamaha FZR 750 OW01 is on the pole. Next to him is Michel Mercier with his best qualifying position this year. And third is the defending Canadian Superbike champion, Ruben McMurder. Then it's Steve Dick, number 100 on his Suzuki Canada factory ride. Steve won our last race at Westwood, BC. In the second row is Gary Goodfellow, Jacques Gannett on a 600 Yamaha Superbike, and Norm Murphy on the Kawasaki. Row three as Daryl Fletcher, Lindley Clark, Tommy Douglas, and Jeff Gaynor on the Suzuki. In row four, Philippe Savard, Derek Medaglia, and Mark Kowalski will ride a Yamaha 750. Row five, Dan Johnson, Benoit Pilon, John Cornwell, and Eve Brisson. In row six, Don Vance, Chris Ellis, and Glenn Friend on a Suzuki. And in the final row, it is Mike Walsh and Walter Dimitrowski. Riders revving up those machines, all eyes focused on the starting lights here at Shannonville, as there is Steve Vick, number 100, McMurder, Mercier, and Crevier across the front row. We're away at Shannonville. A wheelie there for Mercier as they go into turn one. Crevier grabs the lead. Nice charge off the line by Crevier as he goes out in front. Mercier, number 11 in second, as the riders head up the straightaway here. Hard braking now at the top of that straightaway into turn two, and it is Crevier out in front. The surprise of qualifying was Jacques Gannett back there, number 999, on that lime green machine. As we look at the third place rider defending champ, Ruben McMurder, this, of course, is his last national superbike race, sporting the number one plate. He'll hand that over to Steve Crevier for the 1990 season. But it is Crevier who leads here early. McMurder in second, followed by number one. That is Ruben McMurder. Here's Gary Goodfellow off to a little bit of a slow start as he runs behind Murphy on the Kawasaki going into the S's. 
Brevier, 107, your leader. 11, Mercier right there in second at the moment. It is a two-rider race. Both Grevier and Mercier at the limit as they really lean those machines over into the hairpin. Mercier to the inside will grab the lead. Well, Pat, Mercier's experience on this racetrack is really showing up here today. He's an instructor here at Shannonville, and he's got more track time than the whole field here. Into turn 11 at the end of the back straightaway. Grevier was again mounting a challenge to get back around Mercier, but Mercier manages to hold him off. McMurder is third, Gannett running fourth. Hard breaking as they come into this tight left-hander here at Allen's corner. And again, Crevier knocking on the door. He's to within a bike length and a half. Michel Mercier brings that Suzuki on the first straightaway. Crevier 107 in second. It is still one McMurder third. And an interesting story about that number 999 Gannett. That's a 600cc Yamaha bike that he's riding, and they've reworked the engine and the suspension to make it into a 600cc superbike. So as a result, it's a lot lighter than the RC30s, the Suzuki's, or the Kawasaki's path. Michel Mercier back out in front after Steve Crevier got around under breaking at a turn two. And here's Crevier again trying to retake the lead from Mercier, but Michel will hold him off. And the capacity crowd here at Shannonville has jammed the grandstand, enjoying a tremendous race for the lead. 11, Michel Mercier, your leader on the Suzuki 107, Steve Crevier on the Yamaha FZR 750 OW. One, and then it is McMurder number one on the Honda RC30. So a battle among three of the top Japanese brands, and then it is Gannett number 999 on that remarkably well-prepared Yamaha FZR600. He's doing a whale of a job back there in fourth. Michel Mercier, your leader, followed by 107, Steve Crevier. McMurder right there on the Honda RC30. Here's Crevier up to the outside of Mercier. But he just could not get around as they go through that tight hairpin and now up onto the back straightaway where the superbike machines will hit 150 miles an hour. Oh, and we've got a crash at the hairpin. That is John Cornwell aboard the mobile welding Suzuki. John is up and appears to be okay, but his race is over. Further back, Tommy Douglas, number two, comes inside of Gary Goodfellow. Tommy will take over fourth, pushing Goodfellow on the dominant Suzuki back to fifth. And now Gannett, number 999, has dropped back into the sixth place position. We look at the battle for the lead. 11, Mercier, Crevier, 107, and number one. And here they are, hard breaking at the top of the straightaway. And Crevier goes through into the lead. Steve Crevier putting his Yamaha around the Suzuki of Michel Mercier. And these two riders have had a war. Oh, and Crevier just about crashes as he got on the power. And Mercier now will go back out in front. Michel Mercier, since round number three here at Shannonville, has been one of the hottest riders in the Superbike Championship and he is really back on form to the delight of the capacity crowd here at Shannonville. Well, you know, Pat, there was a rumor of Michelle retiring after this year, and I had a chance to talk to him earlier to see if there was any truth in it. Well, it's only thought, you know, uh, I'm still uh, in the hunt. I'm still pretty good, and uh, I think uh, you know, I can still do good out there. I'm not the youngest, but uh, I'm still young enough to be able to handle those those motorcycles. And uh, Suzuki, Michelin, Sonoko, uh, Rai, all those people are behind me. And uh, I think they, they and I deserve again some good time on the racetrack. So I'm going to still, I'm going to be there next year for sure. Well, he's proven it right now, Pat, as he leads the new Superbike champion, Steve Crevier. And you know, Pat, Michelle has been improving steadily all year. He showed well at our last race in Westwood, B.C., where he came second, and he's showing it again today. Well, we look at the battle a little bit further back. This is the race for fifth between Jacques Gannett on that lime green Yamaha and Gary Goodfellow. We're back with the leaders. Mercier 11 holding off Crevier. Crevier's Yamaha appears to have a little bit more horsepower along the back straightaway and has been able to close up on Mercier, but not quite able to get around before they break for that number 11 turn at the end of the back straightaway. So as they come off a of turn 15 here at Shannonville, it is Mercier leading, Crevier in second, McMurder number one back there in the third place position. Tommy Douglas runs in fourth, and it is still Gary Goodfellow and Jacques Gannett trying to settle that fifth place position. Here's Crevier up to the inside. He will take the lead with a beautiful outbreaking move on Mercier going into turn number two. So Steve Crevier goes out in front. Mercier runs second. Ruben McMurder is there in third on the Honda RC30. 
Well, it's interesting to note that Rubens' bike seems to be handling a little bit better than both Crevier's and Mercier's, but they've just got that little bit more drive off the corners, Pat, and that's just keeping them right out in front of him. He's having to work hard to stay in third spot at the moment. Well, all of these 750 Superbike machines have gone through a lot of development throughout the racing season, and here is that battle that continues for the fifth place position. Gary Goodfellow on the Don Nitz Suzuki has got his hands full with Jacques Gannett on this Yamaha FZR 600 Superbike. Gannett is really turning in a superb ride, and here is Goody on the 750 Suzuki. He's not been able to shake Gannett. Gannett dives in on the inside as they go into the S's, and there is the lighter machine. Gannett able to go deeper into the corner, and and he takes over the fifth place spot. At the end of the straightaway, 107, Crevier, your leader. 11, Mercier in second. McMurder still runs third as they come up to lap. The number 25 machine of Chris Ellis as they go through the chicane and Mercier is off the racetrack. And we'll be back with the conclusion of the Suzuki Superbike Showdown after this. To the Suzuki Superbike Showdown, I'm Craig Hill along with Pat Gonzalez as we wind down the last race in our Superbike Series. And right now, we have a battle for second place between two, I guess you could call them ex-champions, Ruben McMurder and Michelle Mercier. Well, after running off at the end of the box straightaway, Mercier has not wasted any time in catching up to McMurder. Just a bike length apart as they go through turn number nine of the S's. McMurder goes wide. Mercier pulls up alongside and will retake second. Mercier just pounces right on the situation. Now McMurder pulls up alongside. A wheelie there for Mercier as they head down the back straightaway. With less than a lap to go, here is Crevier. He breaks in at turn 11 at the end of that back straightaway. He has got a comfortable lead. And Steve Crevier, who put a lock on the championship at Westwood, had something to prove here at Shannonville. He did not want to back into the number one plate and the Superbike championship. He's run with the best of them here today, and he takes the checkered flag as he pulls the big wheelie up across the line. Crevier has won it. That race for second place between Mercier and McMurder out of the final turn. It is Mercier, hotly pursued by McMurder. They will finish second and third. What a terrific crowd pleaser both our races were today, with Picot winning the Pro 600 event and Crevier winning the Superbike and a Suzuki Swift GT Auto. And there are the final standings with Crevier on top, followed by Mercier, McMurder, Douglas, and Goodfellow. Then it's Gannett Murphy, Steve Dick, Lindley Clark, and Derek Medallia. And there's the 1989 Canadian Superbike champion, Steve Crevier. What a day for the Yamaha rider. He wins three championships and the Castro Points Fund money. This is Sanair International Speedway near Montreal, Quebec, the site of the opening round of the